Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple recipe for Korean-style baked chicken wings. So let me show you what you're going to need. So the first thing we're gonna work on is the seasoning blend for the wings. You're going to need onion powder, garlic powder, salt, baking powder, and I have about four pounds of chicken wings here. Now the secret for really crispy baked chicken wings is you're going to need to get all of the extra water out of those chicken wings. So I clean my wings, then I just took a paper towel and just squeezed the chicken wings and put them in the bowl. So let's start up with that seasoning blend. Okay, so we're gonna start with one tablespoon of baking powder. Now, I know I mentioned that um, getting all of that extra water out of your chicken wings was one important thing for crispy wings. The other important thing is baking powder. Gonna need a teaspoon of salt. And don't worry, I will make sure to put the uh, recipe in the description box. You're going to need two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic powder. And you're just gonna give it a good stir. So now you're gonna take half of that seasoning mixture, sprinkle it on your wings, work it into your chicken, and then do the same thing with the rest of that seasoning mixture. Okay, so I have a large cookie sheet that I have lined with nonstick foil, and then I sprayed it with grapeseed oil. And as you can see, I'm just laying out my chicken pieces here. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in the oven, cook them for 15 minutes, take them out, flip them on the other side, and cook them for an additional 15 minutes. So while our wings are in the oven, let's get started on our sauce. So we're gonna start off with some gochujang, which is a uh, Korean fermented soybean condiment. It is very spicy. Um, I'm gonna use a couple of tablespoons. If you want more or less, of course, adjust them to your taste. I'm using um, the same bowl that I prepared my chicken in. I washed it, of course. Um, but it's just easier to do the sauce in the same bowl because you're gonna end up tossing your wings in the sauce. So I've got my gochujang in there. And now you're gonna add some barbecue sauce. Now I am using Korean barbecue sauce. You do not have to use Korean barbecue sauce. You can use Kraft, whatever barbecue sauce you prefer. Um, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup and again, I'll have the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna add in my barbecue sauce. Now I'm gonna add in some ginger paste. Now if you have fresh ginger, you can use that. If you have the powdered stuff, you can use that too. Adding in about a tablespoon of honey. Adding in some sesame oil couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I am using low sodium. If you wanna use regular, you know, that's up to you. Adding in some minced garlic. And finally, I'm adding in a couple of tablespoons of rice vinegar. You'll also see it called rice wine vinegar, but it's the same thing. And just gonna give it a stir. Okay, so I just took the wings out of the oven and this is the brownness that I wanted them. So I ended up cooking them for about 10 minutes longer on each side and I bumped up the oven to about 450 so it could get kind of golden brown. So now it's time to toss them in that yummy sauce. So now I'm just gonna dunk the, the wings in the sauce. And you're just gonna toss them around. Okay, so I've got my wings all coated using that same cookie sheet. I sprayed it again with a little bit more cooking spray, putting the wings back on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes.
So here are the chicken wings. I baked them for about five more minutes and just garnished them with a little bit of green onion and sesame seed. And they are so good, nice and spicy. Again, this recipe is really versatile, so you can you know, adjust the spice to um, however you'd like it. But it's a quick and easy recipe. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.